Good morning everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting upper from Bear Creek Arsenal. This is going to be one of those videos where we kind of do a first shot, if you will, kind of going over a basic overview of the product and seeing if it actually works. So, what is so special about this Bear Creek Arsenal upper receiver? If I can get the handguard off, which the handguard fortunately on these is very tight. This is actually a piston upper receiver. This is their new GPX style of upper. So with a piston, you actually have a solid rod smacking back and forth. That is what operates the gun. So we have a very interesting gas block up front that is very reminiscent of another gas block manufacturer, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And then of course, instead of the normal gas rings and gas key that you would find on a standard AR-15 BCG. What we're looking at here is going to be a strike face on the BCG. But again, this BCG has some pretty striking similarities with another manufacturer. So after removing the charging handle on, of course, the Gen 2 charging handle system on the Barracuda Garson upper receivers, we have a bolt that looks very, very similar. In fact, right here i have the superlative arms system and the superlative arms bcg is functionally identical in nearly nearly every single way now bear creek arsenal has already stated that superlative arms is making their new adjustable gas blocks that are just basically rebranded as bear creek arsenal and i believe what's going on here is either superlative arms is manufacturing the bear creek arsenal bolt or Bear Creek Arsenal was already doing some of the manufacturing work for Superlative Arms, or they're manufacturing it under license from Superlative Arms. There is some relationship there, and we know that because Bear Creek Arsenal has confirmed that they are making the gas blocks for Bear Creek Arsenal. But when I asked them point blank who was manufacturing what, I did not get an answer. They kind of just ghosted me on that. So right now, all I can do is speculate. The design, the geometry, almost all of the machining on these two bolts, again, this is the superlative arms, this is the Bear Creek Arsenal, is nearly identical. Now we're gonna do a full on video later on, a thousand round video on this system after we get, of course, a lot more time. This is more of a first shots video, so we are going to be a little bit more simplified and kind of just give you the gist of the system. Now, up front on the gas block, this is a very portly gas block. You actually have six set screws on the piston gas block, as well as a substantially sized pin. The gas block itself weighs like six or seven ounces. It is a chunk of steel. The adjustment methodology, is different than the superlative arm system. It does not have a bleed off function. It basically has five settings. And when we get into it, the actual method of adjustment is very, very simple. It's about the simplest adjustment methodology that you could think of. But again, we won't get too far into that. Just know that either you're gonna to need to take the handguard off every time you adjust it, and I haven't shot this whatsoever, so we will need to adjust this a little bit, or you're gonna need some sort of super, super long flathead screwdriver to actually be able to adjust this on the fly. That's kind of the basics of the system, if you will. Not getting into too much detail there, because of course the main point of this video is to actually shoot the thing and see how it performs. So we're gonna go ahead, slap this back together and start shooting.
chunky feeling, but not bad. So that was a couple hundred rounds through the new GPX from Bear Creek Arsenal. Uh, very interesting adjustment systems on the gas block. You basically need to have the handguard off to adjust it, which is a little bit unfortunate. Fortunately, there's only like five settings plus an off setting, which makes it uh, super easy to find a setting that's going to work with a lot of different ammo types. I think that if they had made a slight adjustment here, just a little cut in the rail, they definitely could have made it uh, externally adjustable, which would have been nice. The only issues that we had with it from a functional standpoint is we had a couple light primer strikes. Now, this is a tool ammo piece of crap steel case ammunition. The primers are actually pretty far recessed into the casing itself, and the, um, the strike looks quite substantial, but again, the primer is recessed what looks like, you know, 10, 15, 20 thousandths into the case itself more than it should be. So we did have a couple light primer strikes. Other than that, we kind of found a setting that worked pretty well with the M193 and the steel cased ammunition. And with the steel cased ammunition, it was incredibly soft, like barely cycling the system. So it is gonna be a little bit dependent on what ammunition you're using, setup, springs, and buffers. It should be noted that we're using a uh, Hyperfire EDT trigger and a carbine buffer, carbine spring. So it's barely standard setup. This is just kind of an enhanced duty trigger, if you will. So everything ran really well. It was very soft. It was a little bit punchy, and I mean a little bit punchy with brass, and then of course extremely soft with the steel cased ammunition. You can tune it, you know, fine tune it a little bit with five gas settings, which for me is perfect. I'd rather have five than 45 or something like that. So it is a fairly easy adjustment system. This is only a couple hundred rounds. Everything still feels really nice. Nothing came loose. Nothing was uh, misaligned from the factory. I haven't touched the gas block whatsoever, though. The way that that is set up to the barrel, that is absolutely never coming off, basically. But with all that out of the way, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this sort of budget-esque piston upper receiver concept. Now, the piston upper receiver from Bear Creek Arsenal, I believe it goes for $500 right now. So that's kind of the base upper of about 200 250 dollars plus a piston system is about the same cost as if you were going to buy both the piston kit and the bear creek arsenal upper separate though of course in this form you do get the very nice very heavy pinned gas block on there so it is an interesting concept it is an interesting mating of a couple different ideas a piston ar-15 with the gen 2 side charger there's a lot of stuff going on here it melds fairly well and we're definitely going to keep shooting this in over the next thousand rounds or so and then bring you guys a full on review with hopefully you know updated reliability accuracy all that sort of fun stuff so with all that out of the way guys once again thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next one peace off